Certificates can expire, but they can also go bad and need to be revoked. In this video, I want to explain the techniques of how a certificate can be revoked and how this technique of checking the revocation of a certificate when it gets shady or stolen and the private key is stolen and then the, and the progression of what happened uh, uh, in this technology essentially if you're interested in this stuff stay tuned what's going on guys my name is hussein and i discuss back in engineering mostly in this channel and i have a particular interest in security like these videos so if you're interested hit that subscribe button like and let's just jump into it all right so guys when two parties want to communicate with each other especially in the web platform uh where i am a client essentially a browser and I want to visit a website we establish the first the TCP connection the sense and ACK and, and ACK and then after that we build an encryption channel which we are we we refer to as TLS transport layer security I talked about it all all over here during this TLS connection the server responds back with something called a certificate to identify that it is what it claims it is Right? So that certificate is signed and trusted by something upper uh, than that called certificate authority. And that is also trusted by something called the certificate root, which is installed on almost all machines. So this is a chain and it can be trusted and can be verified very quickly on device itself. I talked about all the certificate check out here. So when, I, when the server sends back this certificate, the client actually verifies that certificate is legit by doing this uh, chain of trust thing and then say, okay, this certificate is good. Or if it could not find a valid certificate, let's say it has expired, then I said, it just kicks it out, says, hey, this is not trusted. Another reason why certification can go bad with regardless of their expiry date is actually the revocation. So let's assume that the private key of the server got leaked, heart bleed, or any other method. If the private key got leaked and the attacker got hold of that private key, the attacker can intercept messages and sign those messages on behalf of the server so they can literally write anything. They can terminate the traffic and then respond back with the server certificate. So the client even though that certificate is is good it will never know that it has been man in the middle real hard that's the problem all right that's a big problem and today there is no solution for this except to actually revoke the certificate so it's no longer valid the public key in that inside that certificate should not be trusted anymore so people came out and said okay let's come up with a list of all the uh revoked certificate and we're going to add it into a bunch of lists all right so and we call it called this certificate revocation list c r l or crl for short so what happens in this case so the server will respond back with the certificate and every single time the client has to go fetch this dang list from some trusted party and said okay this is a huge list let me check is this certificate has been revoked nope okay i trust you and then do do, do your own thing the the, the tr certificate of trust and all that stuff right imagine the work that you have to do first you have to go and fetch this list which which is an extra thing that we didn't have to do the second thing is this thing is a huge so my bandwidth is now consumed by stinking list a huge list that is revoked why why am i doing this so has some limitation with this certificate revocation list so people invented something better slightly better and they call it the online certificate status protocol or ocsp so in this case let's not bring this dang big list right which can go millions which should go and grow really large and and makes even the searching process becomes really slow right in that case so let's instead make the client communicate with a server that actually does the checking for you so if that server will have the latest stuff but you don't have to actually download that list issue a query and we will let you know if that certificate is valid or not so in this case the server will come back with the certificate and the client before it actually does the the ver verification it will ask 
hey, OCSP responder server, is this thing valid? And we'll send you the serial number of the certificate, which a one-to-one -one with the certificate, which actually have information about the domain that you're visiting. Good. And, and the server will, will respond back, okay, this certificate is good. No, this cer certificate has been revoked. Don't trust it. Do not trust it. So that's that now is a very small uh, request and a very small response, right? We just ask, hey, is this uh, trusted? Nope. Is this trusted? Share, right? So what is the problem with this? The client, for every request, compared to their revocation list, right, which I'm downloading the whole thing and I'm checking it locally, right? That's the revocation list. Now, the client is actually asking the CA, hey, is this thing trusted? Is this thing trusted for every domain it visited? What does that mean? That means the CA has full visibility of what you're doing. You're, if you're visiting a website, immediately you're asking the CA and you have the IP address, of, of course, in the packet because it's an HTTP request. And all of a sudden, the CA knows, knows what you're doing. That is shady as F, right? So people did not like that. So it's like, what? What are you doing? Why are we, first of all, what? why are we sending my uh, my domains to the certificate? Because now you're just tracking me, shady CAs. Not really shady, but still, I don't trust you. I don't want you to, to see where I'm going. That's just, nah, nah. Nah, I don't want to do that. The second thing is still the same problem with the first approach, which is the CL, CRL, is uh, I'm doing an extra thing. You're asking me to do this step. What if that What if that request fails? What if that times out? What do I do? Most browsers, by the way, if the OCSP request times out, it just gives up. It says, eh, I'm going to assume it's trusted. Again scary the final solution which is let the server actually proves that this certificate has not been revoked so the server in this case will do the checking for us periodically and that's good because the server can do this asynchronously and it doesn't have to do it with every request because it's serving hundreds of clients and it can do it once and serve a lot of clients and can do it i don't know every 10 seconds or every minute and that doesn't take any any uh, CPU cycles or whatever. And if the server does that, the server, when it responds with the certificate, must also staple, right, with its response, the TLS server hello, that says, hey, this is my certificate, and here's a proof from the CA that this has not been revoked as of uh, October 28, 2020. Okay, this is a proof. And this is called OCSP stapling, right? And the client actually asked for that in the TLS client uh, extension. So it says, hey, server, uh, here's a client hello. By the way, I want this thing stapled. OCSP, I want OCSP stapling to be enabled. That means when you respond, you better staple this thing. If you don't staple that certificate with a proof that this has not been revoked, then you shady AF. And uh, people love this. People seem to love this. This is great solution. And we don't have any problem so far with this solution. I might, and there might be any, but I didn't look into up. So that's it for now, guys. This is this has been the certificate word, certificate of location, and uh, certificate uh, CLR and OCSP and OCP, OCSP stapling. I made this video because Apple started doing the same thing, it was doing the second approach with their apps in their Big Sur uh, install. They, 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 they are sending these OCSP requests with every single time you open the app to prove the identity of the, of the app. And I'm, I'm gonna make a, another video about that. And that's it for me today. Uh, if you enjoyed this content, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. Check out the other content of the channel. I talked about all, all things back in engineering. You might find something that you like. And uh, I'm going to see you in the next one. You guys stay awesome. Goodbye.